Counting numbers is easy. Counting numbers is easy. Counting numbers is easy. And this is how you do them. Thank you very much. It's your teacher, Anonzeta. Welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. I've been just showing you how to, I've been showing you numbers 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 30. But today I want to show you, I want you to write them, and I also want you to understand which one comes first. I come first with number 1. And the next one said, I follow with number 2. And the small girl said, I come next with number 3. I follow with number 4. I come next with number five. And then I come next with number six. And Johnny was there with her his smiley face. I follow with number seven. I come next with number eight. I come next with number nine. And then I come last with number ten. So basically, today I just want to show you how to read and write numbers 1 to 10. Hope you enjoyed the class and now, if we remember very well the song we learned about numbers, who can remind me about numbers 1 to 10, the song we learned and we all of us danced very well. Someone remind me? Oh, nobody still remembers the tune. I even sang it in another lesson apart from that numbers. Which one was it? Huh? You mean you've forgotten all of you? How is that possible? No, 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 no. It cannot be possible. Make sure you review those lessons, you go back to those lessons, and you see which song did we sing when we're doing numbers 1 to 10. But now, today, I just want to show you how to write numbers 1. And I was telling you, in PP2 and PP1, and play group, most of you are saying, one like a, I'm not getting you script again. One like a one like a stick. And we are writing numbers. And we say we use specific lines. We have the straight line, we have the slanting line, and we have the horizontal line, and we have this curve and this curve. These are the main lines that are used when we are writing numbers. And remember in math you only have two types of lines, the straight lines and the curved lines. So when we were in PP1 and PP2, we talked about one. And all of us were saying one like a stick. And someone to help me join these dots and see, does it does one look like a stick really? Uh-huh, Janet, please come and try. Janet came and joined the dots very well and found number one. And for sure, number one look like a stick. Have you seen it? Does it have any other thing? No, no, no. It is just one. Then I asked them, what of number two? When you're looking at the numbers you had written on the balls, what of number two? Someone told me, teacher, do you know what? Number two is made up of two lines. I had which one and which one? Are you seeing the curve on this side? And I asked him, this one? He said, no, 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 no. This side, yes. That is the first curve for number two. And he told me, you curve like this. And then, should I do it like that? No, 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 teacher. Take the second, the third line. And I asked, oh, so this is the first line, the straight line, the slanting line, then the horizontal. Then he told me, put it there. He told me, wow. Then in PP2, what did you say? Two like a, two like a duck. Two like a, two like a duck. Then I asked, which number will follow number then they told him, teacher, teacher, can I try? Yes, what are the lines that are used to make number three? Then they, do. they told me, yes, use this curve. I asked which curve? Are you seeing the curve number four? I told her, yes, and I did the curve. Should I leave it like that? No, I'll do it again. Repeat the curve. Then I repeated the curve. And which number came out? Number three. And we say, three like a... Three like a butterfly. Three like a three like a butterfly. Then I asked them. Then after that, have you written all the numbers? No, there are still more numbers. Then I told them which number comes next. Then the boy who had the yellow ball that said, "I come next with number four." Showed me number four, and he told me how. 
to write number four. Tell me, write a straight line, keep a horizontal one, and repeat a straight line again. And the number was number four. Then I told four like a, and she said four like a chair. Do you remember the song we sang? Tingalori, tingalori, take me to the sawmill. Sawmill, sawmill, take me to the carpenter. Carpenter, carpenter, make me a chair and I sit on it. Then we related. How does a chair look like? A chair looks like this. How does number four look like? Number four looks like a chair. Did I write number four facing this side? Did I write like this? Please, when you're writing number four, Make sure the line is on the, when I'm writing number four, my straight line is on the left hand, goes down, then slants, then I repeat the straight line into the middle. I cut the straight line into the middle. Then I ask uh -huh, Janet, please help us find which number follows number four. Then we looked at the little green ball. The little green ball said, I come next as number five. Then we see. Which lines I used to make number five? Uh huh. We start with the slanting one. The slanting one comes like this. The straight one, then the cup. Which cup? Do I use this cup or do I use this cup? Then it's still cup inside. I will cup inside. And that is how my number five will look like. So we have done number one, number two, number three. Number four, number five. So which number falls number five? Which number follows number five? Which number follows number five? Then John says, teacher, use the other cup. Which cup? The last cup. Then I carved a cup and a cup. Have you seen my cups? Two cups in one. The cup facing the other side and the cup facing this other side. Then which number follows next? Told me, teacher, the number that follows me looks like a walking stick. Which number is that? Then she said, number seven. Uh huh. Lines used to make number seven. We have a flat line and a slanting line. Wow. Uh huh. Next, which number comes after the number seven? Is it seven like a seven like a walking stick? Use a walking stick to walk like seven. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So next number is next number is number eight. So number eight has a curve, has a curve, and the other curve again comes and closes the other curve. So this is how number eight is formed. Have you seen the way we form number eight? Number eight is formed like that. Then after that, which number comes after number eight? Which number? We look at our words. Which number comes up to number eight? Teacher, the purple one. Which number? Number nine. Uh-huh. Nine is a straight line and a curve. A curve facing the right side. Then after number nine, which number follows? Uh-huh. Which one is the last one we say? We are counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. A ten is a straight line and a circle. A line and a circle. So, my dear people, help me count these numbers. We have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number ten. So, after this, I want everybody to check his or her exercise book, write the desk today and write numbers 1 to 10. Each number in its own box. Each number in its own box. We are not going to share numbers. Do you remember when we did the ones and tens? The plus value. Did I write numbers in the same box? I did not write my numbers in the same box. So make sure your numbers are well written, well shaped, and of course, the number should appear in its own box. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next, in the next, next lesson as we do numbers 11 to 20 and have a nice evening.